titles are on the line, grit. The gods remembered in time who have been so dominant since first appearing here at Fest. And the Gymnasty Boys, the first ever Fest Wrestling Tag Team Champs. They won those championships by winning the Love Cup Tournament, the second one. Grit becoming the third Love Cup winners, which got them a opportunity at the title, and they won those titles from the Ugly Ducklings. You've got to remember, Grit interrupted a championship match between the Ugly Ducklings and the Gymnasty Boys. So as long as Grit has been here, they have been going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Gymnasty Boys and getting involved in their business. And the business is poured to the outside here at eight seconds. Out into the crowd as well. Bodies flying around all over the place. Make no mistake about it, these guys are big, they're mean. They are as legit as legit is. The gods remembered in time. They've been the Fest Tag Champs for 127 days. Looking to make it to 128 after tonight. Not even sure where to look. Action pouring on both sides of the ring. All's fair in this matchup. No White, count outs, White no Mike and Montana Black making their way to the back bar. TJ Boss is uh, just kind of... Oh, White Mike got the crowd fired up, but uh, Boss and uh, Timmy Lou. No, oh, no, Timmy Lou got out of the way. It's an old-fashioned barroom brawl in this one, Max. Montana Black choking out White Mike. Timmy Lou's digging under the ring for a chair. Duckling's merchandise table. Just got, uh, I think White Mike bounced off that. Interesting the way that these three tag teams, oh God! Timmy Lou leaping off the apron. Torpedo drop kick from Timmy Lou running on TJ Boss. And it's interesting to me how all three of these tag teams, the, the Gymnasty Boys, Grit, the Ugly Ducklings, there's no love lost between any of them. And they're all constantly at war with one another. And they're all in the title picture. <laughs> where, where, did, where did he go? Timmy Lou. Oh my God, coming, he's got, coming back with a few doors. I think he has three doors. Not one, not two, but three. Three uh, doors. Uh, 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 uh. White Mike on top of the uh, hand railing over there, taking out Montana Black. Craziness about to ensue. White Mike and Montana Black still going to war. Timmy Lou's got some tables set up. He's got Serpentico's chair, which is surprising. Another bridge to nowhere being set up, I think. Now stacking the, uh, getting the, the second door. White Mike uh, just clocked. Using the championships yep. as a weapon. Yep. Timmy Lou staggering back. TJ Boss and Timmy Lou. Timmy Lou trying to avoid uh, falling backwards into those doors. White Mike just tried to attack Montana Black with a balloon. And he got crushed with a garbage can in return. That's what happens when you take a balloon to a garbage can fight. This is starting to get dangerous in here. A lot of extracurricular activities going on in this one. Now we've said it before and we're Bears repeating right now. Fast and loose on how the rules are applied here at Fest. This match this is very common in a Fest Wrestling Tag Team Championship match. We've seen people thrown off the balcony in these matchups. 
Oh, God, look at this. A the third door. Yes, the, the, the way the doors are set up. And again, we have a lattice of doors. A lattice of doors, again, because doors are plenty, secondhand doors, plentiful here in uh, upstate central Florida. I don't know where we are. North, North central Florida. We're in Gainesville, baby. Yes. And that's where these doors are. And that man is about to go through them. TJ Boss trying to suplex Timmy Lou from inside out all the way to the floor. Timmy Lou battling back it up. Oh, oh, the big man almost going through that whole mess of doors beneath. And here comes Timmy Lou. Big, big boot. boot in stereo. Here comes Montana Black. He's got Timmy Lou by the throat. Montana Black, oh God. Timmy Lou able to kick DJ Boss as he was being lifted by Montana Black though. I thought that was curtains for Timmy Lou. Down goes Montana Black. Tommy Thomas has the leg of Timmy Lou. Uh-oh. Gigantic choke slam through the three doors. White Mike seeking retaliation on TJ Boss, but he doesn't see Montana Black behind. It is now a two on one assault for the members of Grit, the Fest Wrestling Tag Team Champions. The crowd here in Gainesville really fired up behind White Mike. But that telephone pole right across the chest. Oh, I was gonna say it slowed it down, but not for long. That might have though. White Mike with the double chop from TJ Boss, taking all the wind out of his lungs. We last saw Grit and the Gymnasties in the Love Cup three finals, alongside with the Carnies, a matchup that Grit walked out victorious earning a championship opportunity against the Ugly Ducklings. Titles that they still hold to this day. Titles that were stolen by Jim Nasty Boys at our last show. Grit trying to rightfully win back what's already theirs. Oh my, good lord. Oh! And White Mike checking him off. I don't know if I would have done that. <laughs> oh my God. Vicious Lariat turning White Mike inside out. Pinfall attempt. White Mike out at two. Title match still on the way for the, uh, well, there's a title match for the tag team title, but the Fest Wrestling title. We have. Saeed Al Sabah putting up both the Best Wrestling Championship and the PWX Television Championship against Slim J, the current PWX Championship. All titles on the line in our main event here at the third year anniversary bash. Whoever wins that one's gonna need a big waist. Gonna need a real big waist for those three belts. Someone's walking out with a lot of gold tonight. Oh my God, how does a man that size move so fluidly? Crazy shoulder tackle. White Mike is, uh, I think he's, he's dead weight. Somehow kicks out. I still don't think Timmy's moved since going through those doors. White Mike digging deep, staying in. Hey, Timmy Lou's still down. Oh, he's crawling on the floor. I see him out of the corner of my eye, but I don't know how he's gonna get back and compete. Looking at their competitors, TJ Boss, Montana Black. They seem cool, calm, and collected. Everything going according to plan so far for Grit in this one. And again, White Mike feeding off the energy of the crowd, but might be being fed through a tube after that kick. Could have broken his jaw. Can you imagine the velocity? 
what that uh, size, what do you think that's a size 14, 15 boot right into your chin feels like? Easily, and Montana Black gets tagged in. TJ Boss ragdolls White Mike. Senton. Pinfall attempt, Montana Black. White Mike able to kick out a two. A combined 600, what did they, what did they say, 647 pounds, I think they were announced at. Just under 650 pounds. The sheer force of grit. Montana Black's gonna be 330, you think? I mean, these guys are giants. Timmy Liu finally making his way back up to his, eight, his side of the apron. Uh -oh. TJ Boss though, oh, oh, steel chair across the back of Timmy Liu. So far the strategy. Oh, in the meantime, White Mike could be out cold here. White Mike could be done for. Whoa! White Mike stays in it. TJ Boss just threw Timmy Liu into the lounge area. So far the strategy keeping Timmy Liu out of this. Two on one attack, White Mike. The current Fest Wrestling Champs facing off against the first ever champs. And the current champs having their way with them. Timmy Liu, or White Mike I should say, reaching for a tag, his partner still not in his corner. They're absolutely destroying the Gymnasty Boys. The gods remember the time. Full steam ahead. Oh, this is just getting ugly. And the beatdown continues. Grit just having their way with White Mike. Oh, my Mike. God. Cannonball. 350-pound cannonball for Montana Black. TJ Boss with the pin. White Mike still able to kick out. Tommy Thomas has some choice words for Ref Tony. TJ Boss dragging White Mike up to his feet. We've seen this move win grit these championships. Russian leg sweep, drop kick. Cover. And they don't want to end it. Montana Black, I don't know. Tommy Thomas not happy with his client. Ooh! Super kick from TJ Boss taking out Timmy Lou Redden once again. White Mike able to get the leg up. Staggering towards his corner. I don't know if it's going to make a difference if he can make a tag. TJ Boss sent to the outside. White Mike. Why would they need to make a tag at this point anyway? Get in there and fight if you're able to fight. Montana Black standing tall. Jim Nasty Boys both on the mat. Best wrestling tag team titles on the line. Going for another one of those fall down sentons. White Mike's looking to the wrong corner. A pair of kicks from White Mike. Not enough to take out the monster Montana Black. Timmy Lou. Oh! And the combination enough to take out Black. After this beating that they've taken, the Gymnasty Boys are in position to pull off an upset. White Mike to the top. Big splash from White Mike. And Timmy Lou from the other side. Move salt off the top. Gymnasty Boys. 
but Tana Black somehow able to kick out with both competitors. Tommy Thomas pulled the official out of the ring. But that's how worried Tommy was. Tommy saw the championship slipping out the hands of Grit, took a matter into his own hands. Now Jim Nasty Boys focusing their attention on Montana Black. Oh, TJ Timmy Lou. Boss. Timmy Lou tried to fly again. TJ made him pay with a big kick. Cuts him off. Oh, giant thud echoing through eight seconds. Powerbomb combination for Grit. That's gonna be all she wrote. White Mike, oh my god. Somehow kicking out at two. Jim Nasty Boy still in it. They can't believe that this match is not over with. TJ Boss putting his hands on the official. That's not a not someone you want to piss off. I hear he's got friends in high places. In the meantime, you know what this is doing here. White Mike, look at him. Out for Timmy Lou from behind. Timmy Lou, low blow. Takes out TJ Boss. White Mike able to escape. Montana Black going for a double choke slam. As the Jim Nasty Boys team up on Montana Black, beating them down in the corner. Amazing comeback and recovery by Timmy Lou. I mean, he is staggering in the ring, can barely hold himself up. The resilience of the Jim Nasty Boys tonight just might be enough to get those tag team titles back around their waist. The look at Tommy Thomas, his face is fantastic right now. He is sweating through his, uh, his suit. Timmy Lou going to the top. Montana Black laying prone. Timmy Lou with another. Is that it? He got it. Timmy Lou with a shooting star for us. Tommy Thomas tried to break up the pin, wasn't there in time. And the Jim Nasty Boys, Jim Nasty Boys, become the first no ever. Wrestling Tag Team Champions here tonight at the three-year anniversary. Welcome back, Jim Nasty Boys. The champs are back. Oh, uh, finally some payback here on Tommy Thomas. Oh, I paid just to see this. Well, not that. The fans are gonna get a little present from the new champs. I think so, at this uh, third anniversary. Oh, it, is yeah. a, it is a birthday party after all. Oh, look at him, he stays low, yes. Oh, that's the best thing I've seen all week. Oh, the shoe went flying. I hope somebody throws it away. Take his shoe, throw it down the drain. Flush it down the toilet. Yeah, put it down the sewer somewhere. Send it back to North Carolina in one sock with one shoe. TJ Boss dragging his manager back to the locker room area. As the Jim Nasty Boys stand tall with those best wrestling championships.